Good morning. It's good that you could join me again for another devotional. So, today, let's open our Bibles in Colossians, and we're crossing over into chapter 4 and verse 1. Masters, give your bondservants what is just and fair, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. And this follows on from what Paul was saying about slaves serving their masters and the way that they would go about serving their masters. Not simply serving them when they were being watched, but from the heart, doing everything heartily as unto Christ. And we, we said, okay, we don't live, thank God we don't live in a, in a society where, where there is a slave class. But that was the reality, Paul's reality, in the first century in that Greco-Roman context. And so, so he, he had to address that. And so now he's addressing the masters. Masters, give your bondservants what is just and fair. And I think that kind of sums it up, doesn't it? Being just and fair. Now, of course... You don't have bond service. You don't have slaves in your household today. But it may be that God has placed you in, in a position of, of having employees. Maybe you are a business owner. You have your own company. And what the Lord is saying through the Apostle Paul here is, is to make sure that you treat your, your employees with fairness to treat them justly. In fact, in all, in all areas of our lives, we need to be fair and just. And you might well think, well, how, how can we not be? Well, you'd be surprised how many people get this wrong. How sometimes, you know, we might have someone come and do some work for us and uh, maybe we're not we're not fair or just in what we offer to pay. Remembering that the worker is worthy of his wages. And so let, let's be realistic and let's be fair. And actually I would say to go beyond and let's, let's be a blessing to people who come and, and come do work for us in our homes and so on. Justice and fairness. Why? He says, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. And that was quite profound in that world, because obviously being the master of the house, having that kind of authority in the household, you know, could have easily been abused easily. But Paul wants to remind these people who have been put in that position of their responsibility before God. And just turning to... 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 22, he says a similar thing. He says, for he who is called in the Lord while a slave is the Lord's freedman. Likewise, he who is called while free is Christ's slave. So again, although there was that recognized class within Roman society, that slave class, what Paul reminds them is that before God, you are all equal. And actually... Yes, you may well have masters in that world. You may well have servants, slaves who are constantly serving you. But just remember that you also, you who are free and have that, that privilege, you just remember that you are a slave of Christ. And ultimately, we will all stand before Christ and we will all be judged by Christ on the way that we have dealt with one another, on the way that we have administered justice and fairness and all these things so know know that even though you're in that place today one day you will stand before your master and he will repay you accordingly so again if there's one word that kind of sums it all up fairness be fair be just in all your dealings with one another May you have a blessed day. God bless you.